this week's edition of City Eats, we're taking a look at aromas and flavors of home-cooked Filipino food. So we're going to welcome Chef Daniel Cancino from La Mesa Restaurant right, yeah, in Toronto. Right. And how do you think? First, congratulations. Blog Tio named you the number one Filipino restaurant in the city. Yeah, it's amazing. The support is great, and we couldn't be any happier for that. Okay. Yeah. Right. And so now you're showing us a little traditional dish that you have put a little spin on as well. Yeah, Tell us yeah. about it. What's it called? It's called a pork in a cell. Mm -hmm. In a cell is a Filipino style barbecue. Yeah. Uh, it's usually done marinating in annatto seeds, 7 up, uh, lots of garlic, and uh, citrus. Sorry, did you say 7 up? Yeah. Yeah, seven it's up. pretty common for like Filipinos seven to use, yeah, 7-Up really? for, wow. for pork products. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it helps tenderize the meat and adds a bit of sweetness as well. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Yeah. So um, so we have this 7-Up uh, pork is on the grill right now. Yeah, <laughs> How long yeah, does this right. take to kind of sh um, fry up and usually get ready for this about particular dish? overnight to marinate. Okay. And then just the next day, it's usually grilled up really quickly, two minutes mm -hmm. each side. Yeah. And then usually it's put on skewers and then you just eat it walking down the street. Or in this case, we're going to put it on more of a chip. Okay, and yeah. this is kind of the twist that you have on this. Yeah, yeah, different style of uh, presenting it and different uh, garnishes for mm -hmm. it, but it is the same flavors and marinade. Okay, so yeah. if this is ready, if we can uh, move on and maybe start building yeah. what uh, you have put this twist on, which is kind of cool, especially some of the toppings. As soon as you said this, what's in here? So that's a coconut guacamole. Ooh, love yeah, it. it's avocados folded with some uh, coconut cream, mm -hmm. some garlic, and uh, some calamansi citrus. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so then we start with this as well, and yeah, then you can just grab one of those chips. Yep. And then maybe put a nice tablespoon on there. Of which one? This the one. Coconut guacamole. Oh, guac okay, yeah. good. That's what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> oh, okay. So you put a little bit of that on there. Yeah, and then let's put. Slices of pork. A pork, and then what's this here? This guy's called uh, chara. Yeah. It's a very common Filipino condiment. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, pickled papaya and carrots. Oh, so nice. Yeah. And then this is just some crispy garlic. Yep. And then just some greens. And then this is a uh, Seven Up and a natto glaze. Seven Up again. Yeah, exactly. Love it. Beautiful. And then that's the dish. All right, so this is just a, a twist on a traditional dish here. And yeah. tell us a little bit about the Cultura Festival that's happening as well, because you're going to get a look at this. Tell us about this as well. Right, so Cultura is happening this Sunday, the 11th year. Yeah. They're doing it um, at noon at Nathan Phillips Square. Mm -hmm. It's just celebrating uh, Filipino culture within yeah. food, performances, music. So it's going to be, yeah, a lot of fun. And we're going to have this dish as well. Right, and yeah. then hand to mouth. So this is a way of eating, it's a traditional way of eating where you can actually, um, it's kind of community where you come around and you can pick and eat with your hands. Yeah, it's called kamayan, but it does translate into hand to mouth. Yeah. Um, traditionally in the Philippines it's used as more of a casual setting where you go to a beach or a park, you just cut down some banana leaves and then put food and spread it all around for the family. Oh. We do it a little bit differently at La Mesa on Sundays where it's a live uh, plating almost like a performance yeah. where we explain each component and put it down one by one in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's the point is to engage all of your senses and it's kind of the best way to learn about Filipino food. Okay, and yeah. you'll be able to get this um, on during the festival on the weekend? Oh no, at the restaurant at the every restaurant? Sunday. Okay, yeah, every, yeah, Sundays every Sunday so you do night. it. So it's like Sunday family cooking, Exactly, right? yeah. Bringing it home to the Filipino That's restaurant. That's right. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, great. Thank you so much, yeah, thank Daniel. You. And again, a part of the cultural festival that will be taking place at Nathan Phillips Square. It starts today and it goes until Sunday. And you can head to breakfasttelevision.ca for more information as well on that. We'll have to break here on City. We'll be right back.